Good morning! <laughs> So I haven't been thrifting in a hot minute and I've been dying to go lately so I thought why not? Let's go thrifting together, you can come along with me and we can go thrifting. Oh, great, forgot I needed petrol. Oh, love that for me. I'm not going to lie, I'm not getting petrol. So I think we're going to go to Salvo's first and then we're going to hit up Savers. That's the plan. What the fuck's is lighting? What's going on? We just got here. It's literally like two seconds away from my house. So we absolutely love that. Let's go inside and we are going to find things. Today is our day. We're going to find some things. Let's get our rummaging hands ready. Let's go. Guys, they don't have trolleys. So I'm going to have to like hold you. Guys, I just found the cutest little jacket with the fur. Like, are you joking? But in pink. Like, I'm just not ever gonna wear pink. I wish this was like in all white or something. These are so cute. Try them on. I'm really trying to like only purchase things that I don't have and like really need because I get into a habit of like, oh my God, this is cute. I'm gonna get everything. And then I have a bunch of shit at home that I never touch. Why is this low-key cool? Would I wear it though? Probably not. It's cool to look at. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm in the men's now. Look at this leather jacket in the men's section. Fuck, I love that. How much do you reckon they've got it for? 60 buckaroonies. Sometimes I just wanna go like on a spree and just get a bunch of blazers. I think I'm gonna get some more blazers for the winter and wear like blazers with like little mini skirts. How cute this little picnic basket is. I've always wanted one of these, but like I also don't need it at all. Let's try on all of this stuff. I swear if I leave with nothing, I'm gonna fucking cry. Okay, this one was like a bit, I don't know, but it's a V-neck. I'm thinking off the shoulder, vibes, maybe, I don't know. Oh my God, why is this cute? And this is the first thing. Off the shoulder, maybe like a cute, like, like, like earring jeans, or a little skirt, or I'm thinking just like a little off the shoulder movement. All right, cute. First one I think is a yes. This one is seven buckaroonies. Okay, next I found this top that's taking me way too long to do button up, and now it's just, I'm done all of them. Oh my god, this top takes forever to do off, but she's done it. This is like a little corset top. I think it's cute. It's a cute find. But I'm not gonna get it. Yeah. I think this is a no. Okay guys, this one's a little bit interesting. I got invited to South Street slash Electric's fifth year birthday. Anyway, so they have like a cherry red mob wife like theme. It's part of their new collection that's coming out anyway. It's this color. It's literally next week, so nothing that I'm gonna order is gonna come in time. So look what I found. But guess what guys? I literally cannot believe I found this. Look at this. It's detachable. I could use the fur and style it in a different way, maybe put it on my bag or whatever. Whatever I decide to wear on the night. Or I should just get the thing, just in case. Like, how the hell did I find this? Okay. Look, it's very long. What if I cut it and hem it and make it into like a little, a little mini dress? Like a little mini, oh. Because like, look at the top. With this like detail on the front. But would I wear it? That's the issue. I don't know. I'm gonna think on this one. Okay, lastly, I found these little heels. Um, don't mind my sock. Oh my god, they look horrible with socks. Don't mind me. Okay, so now that we've tried everything on, let's go pay for the things that we want and let's hit up the next store. Guys, we were so successful. I mean, not as ex well, not as successful as I wanted to be. The total ended up being twenty dollars in. Oh, I don't want to itch my eye. I need to sanitize first. Ah! Sanitize. Basically, I forgot to mention at the start of the video, I'm really looking for a fur, like a fuck off fur jacket. Like one of those long, fluffy ones with hope, like with a collar. Some pockets would be lovely. And a brown. I would love to have a brown one. Anyways, I'm asking for way too much. And the chance of me actually finding that is probably slim to none. But it's fine. I've been like on my saving grind right now. So shopping hasn't really been in my forte. But anyways, so we ended up getting... Oh my god, I just sanitized. And now I'm touching the clothes again. So I'm going to have to re-sanitize. Please, I'm not a germaphobe, I promise. Um, we ended up getting the whole ass fucking cardigan. Probably not going to wear it. But I am for sure going to use this fur. Like, are you joking? Anyways, 
We got that one. The total ended up being $20, so snagged the deal. We ended up getting this long sleeve. I don't know, I don't have a lot of nip. Anyways, and I ended up getting the dress. This is another sewing project. Will I wear it? I don't know. I'm going to hem it up dramatically. But anyways, that's what we bought. Um, We got something. We didn't leave with nothing. So everyone knows the rule of thrift. Everyone knows the rule of thrift. Everyone knows the rule of thrifting. If you leave with something, you won. You were successful. That one thing. Anyways, let's re-sanitize. So now we are going to go to... Actually, no. What I'm going to do is pee. And then we're going to go fill petrol. Because my car is going to shit itself. We need to go fill her up with some gas. That's so American. Fill her up with some gas. Oh my god, my water's probably warm. Bruh! Guys, you want to know a funny story about my car? See that fly? Somehow, this fly went inside and got itself stuck in there. And now it's just been living with me. It's been driving around with me absolutely everywhere. And no car mechanic can get it out. Like, RIP, but like, can you not? Could you have not done that? I'm just going to be last drop. One drop of petrol is basically the cost of my car. So basically, now we are going to drive to our destination numero dos, which is Savers. Oh, yeah. I also have stuff to donate. Oh. Maybe let's lock my car, babe. Now this is the setup I wanted, guys. Because we donated, we do get 20% off, so score. We're gonna find our stuff. We're gonna go, actually, that reminds me. I need to set, I need to set a timer because when I'm in Savers, I spend way too long here because it's so big and there's so much to get through that I'm just here for four hours straight. So let's set a timer for an hour because I generally don't want to be here longer than that. So when this timer goes off, we're either in the change room or we're back in my car, okay? So let's start the timer. All right, timer's officially on. I think we're going to start off at the jackets. Well, they've changed everything. Oh, okay. I'm getting distracted already. Guys, I see no fur. Not a good start. I actually don't like it. They actually do have some really nice coats though. I'm literally blocking the whole passageway. Oh my god. It's just very warm. Oh, jeans. I never had good luck with jeans. I don't know why. Long sleeve tops failed. Jackets, no. Shirts, no. Pants, no. So I think we're gonna move into skirts. Never mind, we're not in skirts anymore. We're in dress. This is my system to make sure I see everything and I don't miss anything. I push everything to one side and then I just go through all of them. Guys, I'm having like not a lot of love. Let's hope my luck turns around. Look at this. Not me thinking it's a dress. It's Should we get a time check? Let's see how long we have. All right, we've spent half an hour here already. We've got half an hour left. I'm not gonna lie, I think we're having pretty good with time. Success rate, like 20%. Not happy. Not happy chap at all. Guys, I found this little skirt. That's like low waisted, you can't see. I think the size is a little bit too big for me, but we'll still try it on. And I'm waiting for there to be a catch because like sometimes when things are just too good to be true, you're like, where's the rip? Where's the stain? Where is it, babe? Nearly finished with the clothes ready. Wait, why is this so cute? Or is it ugly? I can't tell. You know what I love looking at? The scarves. Because then you know how you can make like scarves into tops and like add them on like as accessories and stuff? Also, oh, I went through the jewelry. The jewelry is like a commission to go through. The only thing I found was I think this belly chain. It's like blue. It's like a bikini or something. Bags, ass. Guys, we're not having enough luck today. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. So we're looking at shoes now. These are like cute. Guys, I'm actually so upset while I was waiting for this big change room. I would always play with my rings and I need to stop doing it. But I always just fidget around with them and I fucking dropped the one that my boyfriend got me. And it's the thinnest one and I've literally been searching everywhere for it and I cannot find it. I'm so upset. But anyways, I'm gonna try not to let it ruin my mood. 
So we have a whole trolley worth full of clothes to try on. So let's start trying them on. I mean, maybe if it was like that. Well, I think it's gonna be too big. Oh, that would have been so cute if it was smaller. It's just a little too big. It's like so annoying when you find something and it's too big. So I just tried these cute little shoes on. They're too goddamn small. This is cute. I don't know if I would wear it though. Alright, this is really cute. I'm not gonna lie. I picked this up purely to wear for work because it is more set appropriate. I like it. Alright, literally finding things I do not need. But I found this little hat. This looks really cute. I imagine it's like a cute little bikini like a beach. I really like it. I don't know if I caught it in time. It came down. I don't have tissues. I just spent like 15 minutes looking for the ring on the floor. They got my name and number. But the thing is, it's literally like as thin as this. So I'm hoping maybe they'll find it. But it's literally like thin out of all of them. Like he got me this one too. So it's fine. And he also got me like all of these, but it's fine. <laughs> I called him and he's like, I know it was your favorite, but we'll get you a new favorite. I just feel bad. It's a lesson to stop playing with my rings because I knew I needed to stop doing it. And so now that's just a good way to tell me to stop fucking taking off and playing with it. Anyways, sorry for the ramble. We have finished and completed our thrift shopping for the day. Not as successful as I wanted, but that's okay. This is just the realism of thrifting. It's not always going to be amazing. You're not always going to find a million amazing different things. This one, I ended up getting this cute as fuck bugger hat. I've literally wanted one of these. I bought one off Amazon. <laughs> and because I've got such a small pea head, I literally put it on and it came down to like here. I'm not even joking. So this one actually fit me. It might be kids. I don't know. I don't know if I like these straw things, but these can be taken out. Like they're just threaded through, so I might take them out. Then we also got extra fur, purely just to style. Oh, we actually got some ties. Now I would literally just got this for styling purposes only. And I thought these two were really, really cute. So I got this thin pinstriped one and then i also got this like brown beige and lucky last i did end up getting that dress i did end up getting these i do have similar ones but i thought why the fuck not have more and it was the beautiful belly chain anyways so that's all that i got today and i'm starving so you already know what time it is it's time to get gyg's it's time to get gyg's lego i'm gonna get my usual i think Welcome to Joy. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I please just grab a mini burrito bowl? Can I just please get no beans and no pico de gallo? $16 driver food. Thank you. Oh yeah. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Okay. Guys, I love Spanish food, okay? Beans, like I can have them, but I just choose not to. And pico de gallo has fucking tomato in it. And I literally cannot stand tomato. Like it's literally the worst fucking thing on the planet. So I just can't have pico de gallo. Like the rest of it's great. It's just the fucking tomato lets me down. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you, YouTuber. Yay. All right, let's go park up and eat, guys. Where should we go? Should we have the view of the shops, the road, or the grass? <laughs> let's do the grass. I'm feeling naturesque. I'll show you the romantic view, guys. One second. Guys, this is our view. Ah. Uh, if that's not something, I don't know what is. I'm taking my fucking shoes off. Girls, guys, we're getting comfy. We are getting comfy. It's their chips, bro. There's something about their chips. They like do it with like a hint of lime. Oh, oh my God, it looks so shit. Oh my God, why does my food always look so bad? But to me, it tastes so fucking good. Guys, look, it looks so plain. What the hell? It looks so plain, but I promise it's so good. <laughs> All right, first bite, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Yum. When you guys go thrifting, do you prefer going to like the higher end thrift shops or do you prefer going to like your lower end thrift shops? Because, so on the weekend, me and my best friend Christina, we went to like higher end thrift shops and we also went to like, this one was Fitzroy Market. I love going to the Fitzroy and Camberwell Market. And then we went to like higher end thrifting where they're bigger brands per se, but you're still paying like $150 for it. And let me just tell you, we went and for me personally, I just, it just doesn't give me the thrill of like normal thrifting, like going through lots and lots and lots of clothes and then finding like a gem, like a piece of gold. Like going there, it's like you'd see something and yeah, it's cute, but I'm like, I'm still not gonna pay $150 for it. It's just not really my vibe. This is 
just a topic of discussion. I used to be obsessed with conspiracy theories, still am, but maybe not so obsessed. So this morning I finished watching Shane Dawson's new video. And I know, okay, yes, I watched Shane Dawson's video. I used to watch him religiously. I don't know slash don't really care what happened. I also think that the internet construes things in a miraculous ways. I just watched his video because he is amazing at what he does. He's amazing at creating videos and doing his conspiracy thing. That's his thing. One of the conspiracy theories he was talking about, I've been hearing a lot of. And I don't know if you guys have been hearing about it. And I'm a little bit scared to say. Project Bluebeam, I think that's what it's called from memory. It is how the higher powers, whoever they are, the government, blah, 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 all of those, are secretly and purposely planning for a fake alien invasion to come. A literal, they are literally planning a fake, but real, to everyone else, alien invasion on Earth, apparently. And obviously, they're trying to scare everyone. It's like a fear factor. They're trying to scare everyone and be like, oh, aliens, you have to listen to us and we know what to do, but they're basically gonna protect themselves. Like all of the fucking millionaires are building insane amounts of money for their bunkers. Like they're gonna be fine because they've got a fucking bunker because they're already preparing for it because they already know about it and have been told and then we're just gonna be left here to live our best lives amongst the nothingness and they're gonna use like holograms or whatever to actually like fake the fucking alien invasion to make us all petrified and scared and follow like sheep about whatever they're gonna say i'm getting way too passionate i'm getting way too passionate with this. guys if this is real we're gonna make sure that we're not scared okay because one fake two if it's real aliens i doubt they're gonna try and destroy the world they're probably either here to help us or just want to like see what's up so like guys as a collective let's not be scared apparently it's gonna happen soon imagine it actually fucking happens like they're literally planning a fucking fake alien invasion to like get control of everyone apparently it's like for like overpopulation we're apparently getting too like free-minded i don't know creative to basically end this vlog off we're going to go to one last place it's time to get my nails done so these are my old crusty dusty old ass nails very outgrown these were my valentine's day ones i loved these but i'm definitely over them and it's time for a new set i actually love and adore my lady she's so amazing so this is the one for today i think think i'm showing you so horribly all right i'm gonna put the picture up here so this is the set i'm thinking of today i'm actually obsessed with it definitely my vibe i'm not sure about the gold because i'm more of a silver when it comes to my nails like chromey but i'm giving it oh fuck it let's fucking do this shit so it's about nearly an hour drive there so we're gonna go drive Guys, ah, look at my nails. Let me just quickly show you my nails. I'm actually obsessed with it. She did herself and she finally has Instagram. So I'll be able to tag her down below. And obviously you can also go follow her on Instagram. She's amazing and she's affordable. Like, are you joking? Every single nail is fucking perfect. It's like a different theme for me, but I'm liking it. It's a little different. It's a little new. It's a little, all right. I really hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog. I'm going to start doing these a little bit more often when I have cute, fun days like this. And until the next, Mwah. goodbye. Also go follow me. Thanks.